Uh, good morning, everybody. This is John Chester, Operations uh, for Incident Management Team 5 out of California. Uh, welcome to your Friday, May 27th operational briefing. All righty, so this morning uh, we'll talk about a few things as we come around the fire. Um, first, I just want to uh, mention uh, over the last couple days, we have transitioned from a uh, kind of a a uh, wetter, uh, cooler temperatures into a, a warmer and drying trend. Uh, and yesterday, you guys would probably notice that uh, there was a, a whole lot more uh, smoke production that you could see from other places uh, around the fire. And as we come around, we'll talk about those things and uh, show you some pictures of that. Uh, but uh, just to start uh, off this morning, uh, up in the upper Rosiata, lower Rosiata areas, things remained uh, quiet up there with a few calls. Uh, we continue to work. The smokes that we encounter in those areas were safe to do so. Most of those are very well interior. Uh, coming around the, the east side of the fire, uh, down back into Las Vegas, uh, that stuff remains quiet. And then as we, we turn the corner on the south edge of the fire, we start coming across the southern end to the southwestern area over towards the uh, Burias Peak area. We, uh, we did have uh, some increased fire activity over there yesterday due to those drier conditions, higher uh, daytime temperatures and lower RHs. So um, the folks over there, they continue to do really good work, but we did have uh, some stuff that kind of moved around on us a little bit. And I believe that they'll, they'll put up a, a picture here. Uh, folks probably, uh, from quite a distance away, we're able to see this. And so just to, uh, to let you guys know, um, the smoke you're seeing here was from down, uh, uh, the, the name eludes me now, but it's towards, it's, uh, it's south, southwest of the, uh, it's, I think it's Row Peak uh, is the area down there uh, towards the, uh, the southwestern corner of our map, if you can see the map down there. But, um, so that picture was taken in the area that you're looking at there is that area that is around uh, Berea's Peak coming over into lower upper uh, Colonius uh, and moving up into the Bull Creek, uh, Bull Canyon drainages there. And so that picture, that, uh, that smoke column you seen there yesterday, uh, largely due in part to the fuel starting to consume in some of those interior islands that uh, were away from the control lines as the fire moved to the established control lines that we have. And uh, with the drier temperatures, I said that, that uh, really put an uptick in the fire behavior that was going on in there. And we did have uh, lots of resources in that area working on that to keep it within the um, identified control lines, containment lines. As we move uh, kind of north of those little areas there, we saw that predominant smoke coming up into uh, the Bull Creek just below or south of Elk Mountain. We were able to put some black line, so containment line, which uh, what it means for us is that we've got a, um, it's, it's secured that work in there that we're confident that that line is going to stay in place there. Um, the fire won't spread beyond that. Continuing on up the map, uh, north of Elk Mountain, as we come up into uh, the Spring Mountain area, uh, also uh, a large column of smoke came out of there from an, uh, some stuff along the edge there timber stringers that burned uh, adjacent to an old fire scar in there. That stuff kind of rolled out, burned back up into the black, and that was another large column that you guys saw yesterday afternoon as, as uh, the daytime temperatures went up and the RHs kind of dropped really, really low. Continue on up uh, to the Iron Mountain uh, campground area. We still have folks that are progressing north to the divide, uh, constructing handline in that area. Uh, looking for opportunities where we can get out of the heavier blowdown and dead heavy component fuel type, getting into some more open meadowy areas and using the change and transition in the fuel types to a, a spot where we better have uh, ability to stop or halt the fire progression as it moves uh, into those areas. So we do have, like I said, we still have uh, folks moving up the Hamilton Mesa uh, area towards the divide doing that work up in there. Um, so yesterday, uh, it, was, it was a successful day. There was uh, a really increased production of smoke. You're likely going to see uh, effects of that over the coming days as well. 
our temperatures are really, uh, they've gone up and our RHs, we've moved into this drying trend where our RHs are really, really low. And that's significant to us for fire behavior purposes because it allows the fuels to be more readily available for burning. It can cause us, uh, you know, some concerns, but it also aids in getting that stuff to clean up and um, consume the fuels more readily, which can, can in turn allow us to uh, get those things mopped up and taken care of uh, as well. So it, it, it can help uh, as well. So, and lastly, the, uh, coming over here, the structure group over in the um, Pecos Valley area, they're continuing to be over there, continuing to have a presence in that area, uh, working, analyzing, and continuing the work on the structure preparation over there. Uh, so you'll still see folks over in that area. Um, and then as we come back down, just to, uh, to really drive it home for folks, this is our priority in that upper Colonius uh, Burius Peak, Peak area. We want to get that stuff uh, taken care of, secured up, so that we can start getting folks back into their homes uh, over here in the Pecos Valley area. That is uh, our number one priority, so that we can, we can start making that transition get the black, on the, the black line on the map over here and continue um, working to the north once we get that secured. Um, additionally, uh, over here in this area, I, I mentioned we got the, a new division. And so a division, uh, for those of you who don't know, it's a geographical area or break uh, along the fire's edge that we have. And what we've done is we've, we've added a division into that area so that we could give more uh, direct oversight and um, resources to an area so that we can, it's a smaller chunk of ground so that we can have some better oversight and make sure that we're getting those things taken care of. So we did add uh, Division Delta, which kind of breaks up Division Charlie and Division Echo. And so those folks are gonna continue to do good work over there um, to get that stuff buttoned up and secured so that we can start working on getting folks back into their residences. Uh, please continue to, uh, to call in if you see things that are alarming to you. Um, we will try to respond to those things. Some of those things we might already know about uh, and we might have already had people go to, uh, but uh, we, we welcome those calls, we welcome those comments, and we look forward to uh, seeing more of your comments and answering more of your questions. Uh, with that, you guys have a good day and uh, we will see you tomorrow, uh, Friday, Saturday, May 28th for the next operational update.